there was conspiracy in my family against me that they were going to vote for Liberal Party. David Momahi, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Executive Governor of Ebony State, Dave Omahe, has shared his views concerning the recently conducted presidential election in the country. The election was won by the former Governor of Lagos State and presidential candidate of the Europe Progressive Congress, Asiwa Jibola Ahmed Tunubu. He defeated other strong contenders, including P2B of the Labour Party and Al Haji Hatiko Abubakar of the People's Democratic Party, to clinch the apex political seat in the country. Reacting on Channel Television, Dave Omahe wondered how P2B won in Lagos State, which is considered as the stronghold of the president elect, Asiwaji Bola Ahmed Tanambu. The All Progressive Congress governor added, Even in my family, there was conspiracy against me. And I did not know that they were going to vote for the Labour Party in the presidential election. But in other elections, it is the All Progressive Congress because of what we have done. Now, you're here saying uh, that he had to even speak the English. That they were devoted against him brother like i said i was even among those saying it is better nobody should come and say eh, because it is apcu this is not apc or eh, because it is pdp because it was ad no it is now it is now you vote for presidential let's say for instance you vote for labor party for presidential your governorship you vote for pdp you make sure you put people who are competent and those people who have been seeking your support. They made their choice and you cannot choose for them. Exactly. Point of corruption, he was selected and chosen, never measuring that winning, because he did not even win. People of the enemy of this great nation selected and chose him. But time shall far shall be. But time shall tell as far as God leave it. Alright. You even voted for you in the other election. You rigged your way in. You're indirectly de de defending the mandate you stole from Labour Party. So it was in some places where the entire people did not go for P2B, but restored to intimidation, tribalism, and thuggery against P2B. Keep deceiving yourself who voted for the party in other regions. None. You activated the rigging mechanism, the doomsday is there. My own is, I don't even know why Dave Umahi is even coming out to make this statement. This statement is not even supposed to, what, what, what are we doing with this piece of information? Uh, they voted for Labour Party. Uh, they did not, uh, they voted for Labour Party. They did not vote for him. Is that, is that, are we, are we going, are we interested in that? So it was in some cases where the entire people did not vote for P2B, but resorted to intimidation, tribalism and thuggery against P2B. Keep deceiving yourself. Who voted for your party in the other elections? None. You activated your rigging mechanism. Your doomsday... Your doomsday day is near. Okay. Keep wailing, but ask yourself, are you a good person? It is not about being a good person. Are you a good leader? The people who are a good person, but they're not a good leader. This shows, it shows that the All Progressive Congress has lost credibility in Nigeria and should be discarded by every reasonable person in Nigeria. If your house rejects you, then you are not good enough. APC government is actually not good enough. Huh. And sincerely, it is true. I didn't think it like that. Dave Omari should not forget that it was the People Democratic Party that made him what he is today, not the All Progressive Congress. Hmm. All right. David Omai should not forget that it is the PUP that made him. Of course, now we all know that in 2020, Omai Dave Omai of the People Democratic Party cross carpeted to cross carpeted to a uh, was a coach to APC. He was in the PDP. He stayed there. He did the 2020 election in 2020. And when it was time to go, sincerely. David Umay should not forget that it is, okay, I've, I've said it before. A lot of people in the APC, politicians and supporters, if election is conducted and they're palo on who should be the head of their families, they won't win. Their wife and sisters will beat them. Even their neighbors will win them as the head of their homes. 
I wanted to correct this narrative that Lagos is a stronghold of Tunumbu. How? Tunumbu never win Lagos by 60% in any elections. His win in Lagos since 1999 is by thousands, not millions, and it is by rigging and manipulation of election results. Lagos is never Tunumbu's stronghold. Okay, no wahala. David is very bitter. See how obedience love crying. See how obedience still cry for the election that come and gone like any other any other election. All right. The same thing happens in the Senate that you claim you won. You rig the games they wish and voters of a point south. Rotarian Honorable Linus Abba Okiri was voted massively in the polling units and he won. Even your polling units, Linus Abukori won betrayal in the southeast. <laughs> All right, on this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for telling me to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.